you know, we're at a fork in the road. Business as usual will will eventually destroy the Great Barrier Reef as we know it. Australia's Great Barrier Reef suffered its third coral bleaching event in the last five years during March 2020. Scientists worry that the gaps between each event are not long enough for a full recovery. We're now quite certain that the Great Barrier Reef is not going to recover back to what it looked like even five years ago, never mind 30 years ago. It's shifting surprisingly rapidly. We're not quite sure what it's shifting to, but we could be quite confident that the mix of species would be different. It's already different now from just five years ago and that there'd be less coral than there used to be. What is coral bleaching? It happens when corals are stressed by environmental factors such as rising water temperatures due to climate change. This causes them to expel algae and turn white. Some corals can bounce back when temperatures fall, but many die from long-lasting whitening. 90% of coral reef coverage off the Samoan island of Apollo had disappeared by 2016. On, est, on a commencé à mettre la tête sous l'eau et là ça a été mais un choc, un choc vraiment terrible pour tout le monde. C'est-à-dire qu'il n'y avait, on n'arrivait pas à trouver un seul corail vivant. On sait très bien quand on voyait les structures que ça devait être très récent, la mort du corail, mais il y a, on ne trouvait rien. On était devant un cimetière de corail. Has reduced pollution during lockdown helped? Apparently not. The Great Barrier Reef is doing its own thing, regardless of how many tourists are snorkeling around on it. Um, tourism has very minimal impact on the reef itself. And as we saw in March, uh, the presence or absence of tourism doesn't make any difference in terms of global warming. What's being done about it? Some researchers are attempting to cool sea temperatures using cloud brightening. It's a geoengineering technique designed to reflect the sun's rays away from the Earth. The team sprays tiny seawater droplets into the air over the reef, which creates more cloud cover and shade. Others are making coral itself more resilient by bolstering the heat tolerance of algae cells. And this might buy us a couple of decades, but at the same time, it's absolutely essential that we reduce our emissions. If we don't do that, then the planet will keep warming and this technology will just become overwhelmed. It can only buy us time, but we've got to reduce our emissions as well to give a good future for the reef.